Hi there, it's Tony Buck again. What have I done this time? This is a solar soil sterilizer. A box, plexiglass, aluminum. Let me show you how it works. You want to sterilize soil when you're potting plants. So rather than buying potting soil, it's expensive. I made this collector. It's a styrofoam box with an aluminum uh, center. And you just pour the soil in like this on this sort of tray that I made. I'll show you those details later if you really want to get into it. But right now, let's just show you how it works. So that's just soil straight out of my compost heap mixed with a bit of garden soil. Going to just level it out. Those trays are one and a half inches deep. I used a two by four as a form. And uh, we're just going to put that together like that. It's a 40 degree day today. So the soil's about 40. In fact, some of it's frozen. And as you see the size of pot that I put in, probably about 10 pounds of soil. I don't know exactly. Anyway, I'm putting the thermo thermometer in the side there, under the soil, not just in the box. So I'm getting a real reading of soil. Here's an aluminum tray I made to fit over the top. And you're thinking, why not just put the plexiglass right over it? Well, uh, if you do, the whole thing fogs up and you lose your heat. So this is a tray that I made. It's a bit hokey, but I've, I've got foam all the way around the sides to seal the, the heat in. And uh, this is what happens if you don't do this. See, the glass just gets completely steamed up. A lot of heat uh, is in the soil and the steam, uh, the water vapor just comes out of it. So I put that, this is my little innovation to stop this from steaming up. I needed that tray. I'm putting plexiglass over the top. I think twin wall polycarbonate would be better. Um, again, it's sealed with foam. I put two wooden slats down the side because I needed to hold them on a little bit tighter um, and get that pressure so that the air didn't uh, get out. This has been going for an hour and a half. It got to 140 in an hour from 40 degree soil. It's now one and a half hours and it's about to tick over 159.9. It's about to tick over to 100 and 60 degrees Fahrenheit which is what many there it goes which is what I've been told by agriculturalists you need now um, I've got four half inch holes look at the steam coming out of there I've got four half inch holes in the side of this and every now and then I open up the aluminum foil tape and let that steam out so it doesn't end up coming even through my tray and into the front now uh, let's take the, this is two hours later, uh, taking the, the, the top off. And after 160 was hit at an hour and a half, it did go to 170 and stay there uh, and was keeping to climbing uh, all the way to two hours. So it was like this soil has been at 170 for half an hour. So um, that's quite enough, I think. I don't want to get it too, too, too much. There you go. If you can use that for potting soil, this is a solar soil sterilizer say that fast if you can if you want to see details they're coming up in a minute that's how much you get every two hours see you later or if you want stick around for the details how to make it here they come so you need a box one by six lumber that is and any old backing will do I had a piece of this laying around so I used it you can make it out of metal if you like um, you know, I made a two foot by three foot box. I think bigger would be better. You'd have more heat. I'm just going to cork all the edges so that it's sealed. And I'm putting in a sheet of one inch polysisosorinate, not styrofoam, polysisosorinate. You can get it at the hardware stores. The styrofoam will melt in these, in these uh, collectors. And I put a screw with a washer in the middle just to hold it tight and stop it from buckling. I put these kinds of screws into the wood. Uh, one end is for lumber and the other end is a machine. So that the wing nut, the w machine thread we call that. So you can put a wing nut on and hold everything on. So that, that wooden part just screws right in there. I put extra styrofoam or polysisosorinate on the sides to make it a completely styrofoam box, insulated box. This is how I bent up the aluminum tray. I'm using uh, aluminum flashing, it's two feet wide. I've cut it to 18 inches wide because I want some air to flow around the back of it. Um, I'm using a two by four as a form and I'm gonna make my trays one and a half inches deep. So I'm using 
a one by two, which is one and a half inches, uh, just screwed on with drywall screws right there. You can see how I do it. You can use various size drywall screws to achieve what you want to achieve. Now, you want to put gloves on for this operation because um, sheet metal, now I didn't use gloves there, but you know, you do want to do that. I'm the pro. I also get cut. And then bend it over again and use the hammer to tighten up your bend. But it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, you're just throwing soil in there. And then what I do is I take this uh, one by off of there and just crudely screw it back on. Not too tight, but I screw it back on uh, in front of that just to give me my one and a half inch depth again. And uh, that works pretty well. Just not too tight, otherwise you'll, you'll compress it too much. And then I just bring the, uh, the metal back up again like that. Just push it hard. It, it bends pretty well. You need to be fairly strong to do that, I guess. Um, take a hammer again and make a tighter bend. You can't hit it too hard because it's just sitting on those two screws. And then when you're done, uh, take out your 2x4. I'm using my garden bench, which is very old. I love just screwing into it. But if you have a workshop or you can use clamps to hold this down, and then you go again. Now in the bottom of the box, I put two plastic pipes, any old stuff, just to give me some space. Really, it's just a spacer. So the air can get behind this tray. As I say, the tray is, is not as wide as the box. And I put a one and a half inch, see, bend on the back, on the sides. I put two, two channels on the side of this. I just screw them on with the sheet rock, with um, metal screws because I don't want the soil to fall off the ends into the box, right? So that's why I did that. Didn't realize I, as you go along, you know, I'm making this up from scratch. I did make an earlier version, which didn't work so well because it steamed up. Uh, this is the, this is the version two. And it just pushes in there, leaves some space on the sides. I'll put some drywall screws at top and bottom just to hold it in place. Um, as you can see, there's foam on the box all the way around. So there's the gap, about an inch on the side, so the air can go. Uh, the, the soil will sit in there, as you've already seen, and the air can flow along the sides and get around the back of that aluminum and heat up the soil from the back as well as from the front. So that's how you put the box together. Here's the tray. It's a little bit difficult to make, I must say. It's a one-inch deep tray, several pieces I had to do it with. Again, it's got the foam sealer, which is, you know, just stuff you buy in the hardware store for sealing drafts from your door. There's foam on the box. I use cork in the corners of this tray, and I put some foam of that on, some of that foam on. And I cut out slots so it would fit over my screws. And that just sort of fairly crudely sits in there, but when the screws are tightened down, it all seals up. And uh, pretty much you're ready to go again. There's a little detail on the back um, to, to, to hold up the tray. I put a hinge on the back with a little piece of wood just so that it sits at about 45 degrees to the sun. That's not that fussy. Um, just follow the sun as you go. It takes an hour and a half to hit 160 and then from 160 to 175, 180, depending on the heat of the day as well. Uh, so two hours, every two hours, you're going to get a batch of, of sterilized soil this size. If you can use that, good luck. 